What's up guys, it's Jun from Illustrator How. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a halftone effect in Illustrator so that you can add it to your retro design. So if that sounds interesting to you, please keep watching this video. All right guys, so let me show you how to create a half tone effect or half tone pattern in Adobe Illustrator. So actually it only takes you a couple of clicks to do so. Before getting started, you do need to know how to make a gradient in Illustrator. If you don't know how to use gradient or not familiar with it, uh, I do have a video tutorial showing you the different gradient options. So I'll definitely have the link in the description below. So feel free to check it out. And now, okay, let me show you how to create a half tone effect create a shape for now i'm going to use a rectangle well i already have the gradient color field in order to create a half tone effect in illustrator well i already said it is an effect so you will be going to the effect menu with your shape selected if you haven't applied a gradient color to it apply a gradient color you can also choose a different type of gradient if you want let's start with black and white yeah you can always get at some point to it depending on uh, how you want it to be okay and now once you have a gradient applied go to overhead menu effect pixelate and color half tone here uh, change all the channel to zero that's the easiest way to begin with and then the max radius is the size of the biggest circle that you want. So um, you can put 10 pixels if you want to make it a bit smaller. Uh, you can put five pixels maybe. Yeah. And there you go. You have created a half tone effect in Illustrator. So that's super, super easy to be honest. Um, if you want to adjust the area, go back to the gradient tool and you can uh, adjust the area of the half tone. Obviously, besides that, you can also choose the radius one, uh, switch the black and white. You can create a radial half tone effect like this. All you need to do is adjust the gradient. I'm going to create another half tone. First of all, select the gradient, the very basic one, and go to effect, pixelate color half tone and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger 10 I'm going to increase that size a little bit if you want to edit a half tone you have to expand the appearance so uh, go ahead and select this and go to object expand appearance and now you can edit it like a uh, kind of an image so you can use image trays to do so since we don't have that many color I'm going to just use three colors to trace the image as you can see there are like black areas that's like totally black and then you have to expand again the appearance so expand and obviously you can ungroup this uh, i'm going to create a color uh, background so that you can see what i'm doing oops no i just want a color and i'm going to arrange it to back so now let's ungroup this as you can see it's white it's not transparent so we want to delete the white area so let's ungroup this from quick action or you can right click and choose ungroup once it's ungrouped you can select the white area and hit the delete key well as you can see there are more white area you can uh just maybe use the magic wand if you don't know how to use a magic wand i do have a video showing you how to do that select the magic wand click on the white area and hit the delete key well i know it's not perfect but you can always select a part of it and use them let's delete this color already so i'm going to delete part of this since uh, they don't look so nice and i'm just going to select the areas that i can use and group it so now you can edit this uh, as you wish you can change a color and uh, yeah do whatever you want so yeah that's one way that you can edit the half tone All right, so let's see, I have this image and I want to apply a halftone effect to it. Well, previously I just copied the circle um, that I created and I'm going to paste it here. So obviously it doesn't look good like this. I'm going to change the color to white, maybe. And I'm going to change the transparency here. Well, the blending mode. If you don't know what is a blending mode in Illustrator and want to learn more about it, I do have a video tutorial showing you what are the blending modes and uh, the different options that you can use. So uh, for now, I'm going to use multiply. Yeah, it creates a pretty light effect, so it's not so bad. I'm going to maybe increase it. 
something like that and you can see a half tone effect as well maybe the circles they are too big or we can use another half tone that we just created earlier as well maybe this one is a little bit better to just increase the size and same thing i'm going to change the blend mode something like that if you don't like these and if you want to make it even a little bit like smaller circle i understand that it's a little bit big you can do it from scratch you can go ahead and create a circle or uh, a rectangle like this and this time let's try freeform gradient okay i just click on that i'm going to choose freeform and here i'm going to change it to black and in the middle, obviously, I'm going to add some white points. Yeah. Something like that. Once you have this gradient created, same thing. Go to Effect, Pixelate, and Color Halftone. Now, let's say that we don't want huge circles. I'm going to put it like as small as possible, maybe like four. Yeah, that's a pretty great uh, halftone effect. So now all you have to do is uh, go to opacity. Well, if you want to adjust the area a little bit more, you can always uh, click on the gradient, choose the gradient tool and uh, move around the gradient light, let's say. Something like that, it looks pretty good. And now let's go back and choose uh, the opacity again or the blending mode. And you can choose multiplied. So yeah, that's another way to use uh, the halftone effect in Illustrator. If you don't like the color, same thing, just go back to the gradient tool. And if you don't want black, you can change it to another color, uh, purple or blue. If you want the same color for all the edges, uh, just simply select the text code, the color code, or choose another color. It's really, really up to you. Otherwise, you can also change opacity if you don't want the halftone effects to be so obvious. Yeah, changing opacity can help you reduce the, soften the effect a little bit. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you miss any step and if you want to take your time to follow the step by step, I do have a tutorial uh, showing you how to do that. And you can also create uh, a halftone effect for part of an image in Illustrator. If you want to learn more about it, I will have the link in the description below. So feel free to check that out. That's it. Hope you already know how to create a halftone pattern in Illustrator. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my future tutorials.